In the U.S., it's thought there are somewhere around 50,000 active police dogs. While the work of the police has become more and more dangerous every day, dogs have become the best colleagues of police officers, but this has been happening for a long time. They've been used for security occasions for more than 100 years. Dogs used in police are raised and trained for many reasons, such as finding missing persons, detecting explosives and various drugs, finding evidence at crime scenes, and attacking a person targeted by the police. So dogs are extremely effective when they're trained to manage well their skills. The sense of smell, hearing, and sight enable the dog to search for large areas much faster and more effectively than any human or machine. They're also fast, focused, and their bite is a strong weapon. Large and powerful, this dog breed can trace a missing person weeks after it's disappeared. Bloodhounds were initially companions to hunters, but were later hired as police dogs because of their extraordinary sense of smell and companionship. This breed was also very effective in finding missing children because they don't look scary, aggressive, and really like children. Researchers estimate that their sense of smell is at least a thousand times stronger than that of humans. Police departments around the world use this particular power to their advantage, and evidence found by bloodhounds can be used in court. Doberman Pinschers are known as a dedicated and competent guard dog, so they're naturally good at police work as well. They're among the smartest dogs in the world, in fifth place according to the researchers of dog behaviors. When World War I broke out, most people couldn't afford to buy Dobermans. They were so expensive that only the rich, the army, and the police owned them. After the war, the Germans brought the best Dobermans to the United States. In World War II, Doberman Pinschers were in danger in Germany. If the breeders hadn't sent them to the U.S., they would have disappeared. Also during World War II, the U.S. Marine Corps used Dobermans as scouts, messengers, and guards. In 2001, following the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Dobermans trained in search and rescue, searched for troops and survivors at Ground Zero. Many decades ago, the Labrador Retriever was originally bred to accompany and assist man in hunting. Nowadays, they're also used as bomb and narcotics detection dogs, and they're also among the most popular breeds of police dogs in the U.S. They also patrol airports and ports with their keepers, making sure nothing bad enters the state. They can work as search dogs, sometimes looking for survivors under the rubble after an earthquake or other tragedy. The high energy level of a Labrador makes it a great dog for the police. Their need to exercise, hunt, and be mentally stimulated makes them focused during training. Another reason Labradors make good police dogs is their work ethic. They're very intelligent and have an extraordinary desire to learn and interact, also praying for a task to do. They love to work with people, especially their keepers, and are always eager to have fun, making it easy to use and place these dogs in a work environment. The human-dog relationship is essential when dealing with dangerous situations that have the potential to kill and injure people. Boxers are a very flexible dog breed that served in World War I and World War II as watchdogs and patrols alongside military officers. And this is what they're often remembered for when it comes to the history of their work experience. They were also used as messenger dogs to transmit messages between troops in the war. These dogs are very loyal, consistent, and sociable. The Boxer is very popular and used as a police dog in Germany, their country of origin, but not so much in the U.S. or other countries. The German Shepherds are officially the most used breed as canine officers globally, and it's easy to see why. Because they're one of the most talented and intelligent dog breeds, highly trained and follow orders, the German Shepherds excel when it comes to knocking down suspects, whether they're armed or not. They're versatile, and they're also used to sniff out narcotics, missing persons, and search and rescue missions, along with many other law enforcement units. They aren't only trainable, but they're also strong, fast, and very loyal. Just about everything that makes a perfect canine police dog. In recent years, another race has become a strong competitor of the German Shepherd in police work. The Belgian Malinois is the most popular breed in the military and police. They're mostly used in airports, train stations, and subways. Because of their perfect sense of smell, their sharp nose is able to find drugs and bombs. There's one more reason why the Malinois is used as a police dog. He has a strong defensive instinct. Dogs of this breed are very loyal to their owners. 
Belgian Malinois are not normally aggressive, however, they can be taught to serve and protect their owners and go as far as aggression. The Belgian Malinois is very vigilant, which is why he's perfect for police work. This dog is a shepherd dog, so he has to control his flock and protect it from any potential predators. In fact, Belgian Malinois are often confused with German Shepherds, but he's smaller and reacts even faster than the German Shepherd in some situations. This race is considered a hero, as it helped the U.S. Navy SEAL team in finding and killing the leader of the Al-Qaeda group, Osama bin Laden, in 2011. In 2019, a Belgian Malinois also became a hero again when he assisted the U.S. military in a special operation to assassinate the leader of the Islamic group, Abu Bakr al-Baghdad in Syria. This dog was invited to the White House by Donald Trump and given a medal. So, if you don't want to feel the bite of these powerful dogs, don't break the law. See ya!